to cases and uh, people are asking about Lur B. And I think uh, your case is very instructive in that regard, David. Uh, yeah. 63, 63 year old man, what happened? Uh, so th this is a gentleman who uh, presented uh, right right at the start of the pandemic with um, with lung lesions, extensive bony involvement. We confirmed small cell. Uh, of note, um, I don't usually do this, but I biopsied the bone because that was the only area where there was evidence of potentially metastatic disease. Um, so uh, it was uh, inconclusive, but I treated him as it was extensive stage small cell with platinum etoposide at TISO. And, um, and so he, he had a response, a complete response in the lungs. And then uh, as, as happens, because it's real life, uh, somebody did a PSA test on him and it came back high. And of course my heart sank because I'm like, this, those bone lesions are probably prostate cancer. And sure enough, we, we biopsied the prostate. It was prostate cancer. And then he was given luprolide and the PSA responded. So I called up my radiation oncology colleague and I said, we got to give him radiation. But of course the tumor's gone. And so he only ended up giving him 3000 uh, gray there. Uh, and we did that. But then as soon as we finished that, liver lesions popped up. And so my, my hunch is it was always a sense of stage small cell. So I started him on Lurby Nectogen in September of 20. Remember, Lurby got approved, I think, in June of 20. And he's not the fittest person in terms of comorbidities, but we took a shot at it. And here we are. That just happened. He's still coming in. I don't know what's going on. He's on 17 cycles. He has no side effects. Every time we do a scan, he, he's so nervous like me that it's going to show up, but it hasn't. So he's the first patient I ever gave Lurby to, and this has been my experience so far with, with him. And so pretty, pretty uh, nice to see. So I never, I never went after the liver. I, I thought that wasn't prostate. And I'll tell you why. I never went after the liver. I thought it was unlikely visceral disease from prostate. And his PSA uh, immediately sank with luprolide, and then the liver meds came out, and his PSA is still in good control. So I suspect that's all small cell, but you're right. You know, you can't be 100% sure with these things. What about, I see also he had a history of psoriatic arthritis. How bad was it, and did you think twice about uh, giving him an I.O.? You know, what's funny is when I was preparing this case, I, I uncovered that in my HPI, and I'm like, did I remember that? And so... I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't remember it when I gave him my O. I probably remembered at the time, but uh, forgotten about it till I did this case. So I can tell you it never was an issue while I was on a teaser. Well, that's great. You know, it's so hard for docs in practice, particularly with so many new agents to come out when you see not that much data and yet, you know, not that many other options. I think LERP people have a feeling it's much better tolerated than the alternatives, including uh, TOPA TCAN. But, I mean, I don't have to hear too many cases like this in a situation where you have no other alternatives to be interested in it. And, of course, the real question is, what about this new trial that came out? So uh, I guess this is basically chemo, uh, you know, uh, uh, chemotherapy. Uh, and anything you want to say about mechanism of action with lurvinectinib, and particularly what was seen in the uh, phase two trial there, the 35% response rate, you can see the swimmer plot. Any comment, Ann? You know, it, I think we all get super excited about new drugs and antibody drug conjugates and, and lots of new mechanisms, bispecifics, et cetera. But, you know, chemotherapy also does work very well. And so I think being able to get a new um, uh, approval, um, it is a small study, so we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but the response rate is... is um, positive and and you know again we don't have great tools for um, our patients in this space topotecan is not a great tool temozolomide sometimes I use for for patients with uh, or taxanes but we don't have a lot of options and and so um, I, de I do think that lurby is a good tool but um, the Atlantis trial was negative right and and some folks said oh gee well are is is lurby going to be pulled just like um, Nevo and and Pembro uh, but in this case and this is Dave's slide but you know you can see that that the, the one arm, if you go back, is, is with um, lurbinectin at, at 2 milligrams per meter squared. And in the single agent trial, it was at 3.2, I believe. So this had to be reduced because of the combination with the doxorubicin uh, and worries around um, 
uh, myelosuppression. So I don't think that this is going to uh, end up in, in Lurby single agent being pulled because it's a different dose. Uh, it's attenuated dose, and I think that you can see that it's not as effective. Um, I don't know, David, your thoughts? Yeah, I think you, you, you kind of summarized the way I look at it. Um, it's unfortunate, right? You, you're like, why did this trial get designed this way? Um, uh, when it first when it first came out with the press release, I think all of us thought, oh, this is the end of Lurby, a, a short life there. Uh, but then as Ann points out, it, it's not exactly the study to, to compare. Um, it's worrisome, right? It's worrisome that two megs per meter square with doxy is no better than topo or CAV. That's that's worrisome because, gosh, those are drugs you should be able to beat. Um, so you you know, if you were a betting person on a randomized phase three trial of Lurvy at three point two versus say topo, I don't know that I would bet that that would win. But does it need to win with OS? Maybe it just needs to be equivalent but safer and easier to give than five day dosing of topo with myelosuppression. That would be good enough for me. Yeah, I don't know which. Uh drug would uh, win the unpopularity contest with the general <laughs> medical oncologist topotecan or bleomycin, but I can tell you they hate both of them. This we get into that with uh, Hodgkin and the Echelon Regimen. But anyhow, let's go uh, to uh, another, uh, another case.